latest round of La Liga Santander kicks off with an Andalusian derby. Malaga have won their last five home games and have scored 15 goals at La Rosa later this term. Standing out for Juan de Ramos' side is youngster Pablo Fornals, who scored twice against Valencia at Mistaya. Does. And it's 2 2 for Granada are fresh from their first league win of the season against Sevilla, and the three points have revitalised Lucas Alcaraz's team. Flicks across to the far post, 2 0 to Granada Lombard. Well, he saved a goal at one end and he scored it. Chori Castro will miss the game after picking up a fifth yellow card. Sandro and Ruben Vezzo are both injury doubts. This way through to Florian Andoni, best out on goal. Andoni, second goal of the game for him. Anoeta is the ideal place for Real Sociedad to put their defeat in A Coruña behind them. Eusebio Sacristan's side play Valencia at home at a ground where they have kept three clean sheets in their last four matches. Visitors Valencia will be targeting victory, but have won just once in the last ten meetings with the Churi Urdin. Our remaining game is against La Real. It's a tough ground, but we're going to have time to work during the week. We'll continue working because at a time like this, that's the best thing we can do. The Estadio de Gran Canaria has become a fortress for Union Deportiva Las Palmas. No side have beaten them at home since match day 29 of last season. We know that at home we have to be strong and continue being so. We can't let anyone win here. We have to earn maximum points. Our league position is based on this being strong at home. We hope to go on a run of collecting the three points. But across at pace and it's sent towards goal, but into... The Canary Islanders are the fifth top goal scorers in La Liga, and a lot of that is down to Jonathan Vieira, who has three in five games. Something different is happening to Leganés. Los Pepineros have scored just twice in five games and need the three points in order to move up the table. Bar will attempt to get back to winning ways after their derby defeat at the hands of Athletic Club. Jose Luis Mendelibar's team will be in action at Iparua, where they have claimed 12 of a possible 15 points this season. One of the main players for Abar has been Sergi Enrique, who has put in two goals in the last three games. Duty is still on, Alexis stays forward, ball comes back in, the opening goal of the game scored. Alaves approached the game having taken a draw at home to Union Deportiva Las Palmas last time out and are on a run of two consecutive away wins. Abar will assess the fitness of Ramis before the match. An evenly matched contest takes place at Balaidos this weekend. In meetings between Celta Vigo and Sevilla, the Galician side have won 35, the Andalusians 39. Celta will have another opportunity to take the three points following their draw against Betis on match day 14. Cross the face of goal, Vas is Das, it's 1 0 to Celta. Ronda should get there. Dangerous ball, and that is the equaliser. Eduardo Berizzo will have Iago Aspas leading his forward line with a record of seven goals in his last five games. Sevilla are in need of improvement with just two wins from their last five fixtures. Berizzo will be waiting on Carlos Planas and Radoja's fitness for the game. Sevilla have injury doubts for Carrizo and Escudero. Can he find him? He can. Leo Baptista one on one with the black. Another great save by the Atlético. The game at the Calderón confirmed that Espanyol are the king of draws this season. They have seven from 14 games. The most important thing for Kike Sanchez Flores' men is that they are on an eight-match unbeaten run and have not conceded a single goal in their last five. It's on a sporter player gets the gets the ball. That's a very good header. 
Sporting, on the other hand, earned themselves some breathing space with their win against Osasuna. Ball away across, Douglas takes a touch, now fed out to him! Carlos Carmona is the danger man for the Asturian outfit, grabbing three goals in the last two games. Real Betis play a second consecutive home game this weekend off the back of a 3-3 draw against Celta. So very competitive, and here's a chance for... for Ruben! Sell a lie, it wasn't Ruben, but it's 2-2-1 to Celta. The Andalusian side came from behind on the score sheet, but showed once again that their problems lie in defence. Victor Sanchez de Lamo's team have conceded the third most goals this term, with 28. Looking to add to that tally are two returning strikers for Athletic Club. Aritza Doritz and Raul Garcia are back available after suspension and will attempt to fire the Basques into the Champions League spots that are just two points it's away. It's come to Villa Libre, Munyan got pulled there. Chance for Ica Munyan, can he seal it, Ica? 